Google always confuses us with its similar apps, names, and so on. Today, we explore the difference between Google Wallet and Google Pay. So, let's get started. To understand both, we need to look at different regions. Let's forget the US, Singapore, and India for now. In the rest of the world, you'll find Google Wallet, not Google Pay. The Google Wallet app lets you store credit and debit cards, digital keys, transport cards, loyalty cards, and so on. We can also pay at a contactless terminal because of its built-in paying capabilities. It's called Tap to Pay. If the app is supported in your country, your bank supports Google Wallet, and you have an NFC supported device, you can install and use Google Wallet. You can check for NFC settings by searching for it in the settings. The Google Wallet app is new, and before Google Wallet, we used to have Google Pay. Its goal was to pay in store. However, Google wanted to add more features, and they did. So keeping the name Google Pay did not make much sense. That's why they rebranded it to Google Wallet. Now let's take a look at the US and Singapore. Users in those countries have access to both apps. Google changed the Google Pay's name to Google Wallet, but they released a new app titled Google Pay, so we can install both apps separately. The Google Wallet app is the same. It lets you store cards, boarding passes, digital keys, transport passes, etc. and lets you pay in store. Google Pay is more for transferring money and managing your expenses. According to Android Central, you can't use Pay to pay in store. However, the official website and its Google Play Store page suggest that you can use the app in store. The app supports sending money to people so you can use it to transfer money securely. It's like PayPal where you don't have to share your bank account. Google calls it the secure way because only you and the other person have access to the transaction. The app can also manage your expenses and help you make better decisions about them. So it's an all-in-one expense tracker. I haven't used it personally because I'm in Australia and we only have Google Wallet. Which is sad because people would have loved it here. Let's talk about India. In India, users only have Google Pay. Google Wallet is not yet supported. Google Pay is similar to the app that we find in the US. I don't know if users can pay with their NFC supported devices, but I've seen ads where they just scan QR codes to pay to the business. The app also supports sending and receiving money from friends and you earn rewards for using it. I see more users of Google Pay in India because users can buy gold and have it shipped. Also, they can purchase train tickets, book flights and do other things. Let's talk about Android watches. On supported smartwatches, you will have Google Wallet. Of course, you need to be in a supported region. Devices like Pixel watches come with Google Wallet installed, so you can just add a card and pay with your watch. Now before I go, I must talk about Samsung users. On Samsung phones, users have two applications, Google Wallet and Samsung Wallet. Both have the same features, but Samsung Wallet is more secure because you get to set a pin. Samsung users can also download Google Pay in the US, Singapore, and India. I use both apps at different places to see which one works better. And honestly, I don't see any difference. Both are amazing. Anyway, this is all for Google Wallet versus Google Pay. Thanks for watching and please let me know what you think of both in the comments and take care.